it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. That's where the wealth is. But under Agenda 21, they want to force us all into these compact cities. And when you realize that Bill Clinton and Barack Obama and Rahm Emanuel, I mean, think about each one of those people. These are actual gutter-level thugs. I mean, Bill Clinton is an actual total cokehead, knows like a vacuum cleaner, you know, Roger Clinton said. Guy who settled with a bunch of women where he'd have them at a dinner and say, step in the cloakroom with me for a second. He'd get a woman in, punch her in the face, bloody her nose, and then bite her lip with blood dripping. That's a high-tech rapist technique, by the way. Only real psychopaths know that. I hate to even talk about it and give people ideas. And you bite while you talk to them and you say, you take your panties off right now. I'm going to bite your lip off. You understand? And I hate to talk like that, but that's what came out in court that Bill Clinton would do. Start strangling a woman, bite their face. And, it, and then Gloria Steinem and all of them, when this came out in the, uh, like, 1997, 98, right during the impeachment, they all came to his aid because they're there to ruin women. Hillary's humiliation, how she swept Bill Clinton's affair under the carpet. And they all made it about the affair of Monica Lewinsky and Paula Jones and all the rest of this. I mean, I've interviewed the people who've been tortured and beaten up by Bill Clinton's folks. And, and, and so I told Don Salazar to go dig up some of those names and people and, and, you know, who it happened to and put it in the article. There's a story up on Drudge that's from the Washington Times. Rand Paul demands Dems return money raised by sexual predator Bill Clinton. We're going to play the video in a moment. But but th th that's it. Why always be on the defense while while they arrest Dinesh D'Souza and while they arrest governors for no reason? Uh, he's a rising star against Hillary. And, and, and I don't like Chris Christie, but they're like obsessing over some bridge deal and all the rest of it while Democrats do stuff literally a thousand times worse. And again, I'm just... I'm a big critic of Republicans when they're on office as well, and of Boehner and all of them. My thing is the Democrats really are the gutter scum of the earth. I don't mean the well-meaning camp followers. And they really are gangsters. And, and Gloria Steinem and all these fake feminists do not have the moral high ground. They, they are not consistent about women's rights. They are not consistent about anybody's rights. Somebody like Camille Paglia is consistent. These people are not feminists, okay? They don't want, want women owning guns. They don't want women empowered. I have two daughters. I want them to be the most informed, educated, healthy, smart, dynamic, armed, beautiful, vicious, 21st century cave man women. Because I'm a cave man too, folks. I'm natural. I've got my instincts. I want to be like that. And, and I want my son to be powerful and strong because I want to be free. And so the media is trying to act like it's outrageous, but the media is out of bullets, folks. They're out of political bullets. That's what I told Politico years ago when Rand Paul got elected. I said, listen, don't you get it? You need to endorse Rand Paul to destroy Rand Paul. Even if you don't like him, your endorsement will destroy him because the people run like the plague from the New York Times. And so they fence it out into Politico and then that people run from that. They're running from you. We're sick of you. We know you're a bunch of con artists, globalist crooks and thugs and a gang using social engineering to sabotage society so you can rule the pile of crud. And the answer is Bob Barr saying if he gets back in, he's going to impeach Obama. He's the guy that introduced the articles of impeachment with shippers and the rest of them. The answer is have Ted Cruz go with the jugular. The answer is have Rand Paul go with the jugular. The answer is have Alex Jones go with the jugular. And Matt Drudge go with the jugular. And Joseph Farah go with the jugular. And, and, and Glenn Beck go, to, go with the jugular. Listen, we're not going to beat these people playing games and quarter measures. We've got to all in, move the Overton window back to reality. They've got it all extreme where if you criticize five-year-olds being taught how to be transvestites or transgender, you're a, you're a homophobe. Uh, or, you know, if you don't want five-year-olds being taught how to have anal sex, you're a homophobe. Uh, or if you don't want to give illegal aliens free everything when nobody, no other country does that, and we're going bankrupt, you're a, you, you hate Mexicans. It's all them with fake moral high ground. We have all the ammo, Benghazi and NSA and IRS and just all the lying and the cheating and Obamacare and the fraud and all of it to totally destroy these people, overthrow the Republican establishment. Have the libertarians take over and literally save the country. Or if they keep taking over and we lose this round, they'll all just get the blame, the globalists. 
And so we'll just win in the next round because resistance is victory. Never giving up is victory. We're just as good as the scum that runs the New World Order. We're better. We just don't cheat like them. We've got the power. We've got the mouths like alligators. It's time to get aggressive and eat these people alive. It's time to gut up and stomp. It's time to get aggressive. It's time to get back in their face. My husband's the gun guy. I've just never felt comfortable with them. But these days, I know I need protection. And I found it at theultimateknife.com. It fits my hand like a glove. Plus, it's small enough to easily conceal. And the peace of mind it gives me is unbeatable. The fastest one-handed deployable defense knife is waiting for you at theultimateknife.com. Use promo code radio at checkout for free shipping. Get the ultimate knife at the ultimate price. Only at theultimateknife.com. My name is Jessica Armand. I'm an activist, a GCN listener, and mother of three. Our drinking water and food are filled with fluoride and other contaminants that harm our teeth and gums. To protect my family, I created My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. My Magic Mud is a soft powder that polishes your teeth, reduces sensitivity, and removes harmful toxins from deep inside your mouth. You deserve a bright, healthy smile. Visit MyMagicMud.com and get yours today. That's MyMagicMud.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. If you ever wanted to get off the grid and start generating your own supply of electricity, this will be the most important message you'll ever hear. Hi, I'm Brian Brody with a time-sensitive solar generator offer from Solutions from Science. Remember, solar generators provide life-saving electrical power. And unlike gas generators, solar generators run quietly, emit no fumes, and produce free electricity from the sun. Here's the good news. Our Power Hub solar generator on sale now is one of our most powerful solar generators. And due to an overwhelming demand from our customers, we've recently restocked this remarkable solar workhorse. The Power Hub is easy to use. Just point, plug, and power up. Even better, with dramatic price reductions on the Power Hub, with bonuses worth thousands of dollars, there's never been a better time to get off the grid and generate your own private supply of electricity. Go to SolarGeneratorFreedom.com to learn more. That's SolarGeneratorFreedom.com. Get off the grid. Go to SolarGeneratorFreedom.com. That's SolarGeneratorFreedom.com. In the U.S., one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. McCarthy were 1,500 Hollywood people 
The New York Times reported three weeks ago are in a secret society of libertarians and conservatives. And now the IRS is trying to find out a list of names to persecute them. I knew about the secret society five years ago. They call it a secret society. All it is is conservatives meeting in secret, talking about ways to try to put libertarian ideas, or really the libertarians, into films, movies. Uh, I went and saw Nut Job with my children a few weeks ago, and I guarantee you that's a libertarian made that. It's all about Agenda 21, all about the government controlling the food, all about food stamps. Really a good movie for your children to see, I think. And the fact is, if I was a liberal, communist, socialist, well-meaning person, not one of the social engineer types, I would be freaked out if libertarians and conservatives were being persecuted. When Bush did a little bit of persecution, I came out against him real hard. And I called for Bush's impeachment over the NSA spying. And things like that. It's just that now, who can deny that under Obama, it is just off the charts. And they want to have the moral high ground where they can run scam energy deals in Benghazi and persecute people with the NSA and the IRS. And now they're back with the IRS persecuting people and have this reign of terror. And, and, and be arresting filmmakers and persecuting people. This is real. This is real. They want to keep media on a short leash. And we have the article up on Infowars.com where Jay Leno, Paul Watson asked the question, was Jay Leno canned by NBC for criticizing Obama? And I should call Watson and I'll go ahead and talk about this. I mean, we have the emails and the calls. I mean, I can prove it if people want me to, but <clears throat> we were contacted by Jay Leno's people repeatedly a couple years ago and then late last year. And he was going to try to sneak me on there, try to get me on the schedule. He talked about me many times on the air over the years. Jay Leno was the first national person. I've been on a few national shows, but in 1999, uh, he uh, talked about some of the stuff I was doing. It was very obscure, very weird. No one knew why he did it. No one knew who I was. Jay Leno obviously did it. Now, I I've learned the last few years that Jay Leno, again, in the... In, you know, we'll come back and visit people uh, in the powder room uh, in the, uh, oh, what do you call it, the areas they haven't, and that's not the green rooms, the dressing rooms. And they walk around and say hi to the guests in the guessing room, uh, in the dressing rooms, and, and he's brought me up to quite a few people. And again, it's not like the show's even that big a deal anymore in media. It's just that the ratings were actually going up compared to other shows, and the word is they can name it because, again, he was not a total communist. He was not a total authoritarian. He was a free market guy. And they got rid of it. And this is what they do. J just like um, James Woods said, he's been told since he criticized Obama, he'll never work again. This is a guy that made 15, 20, 30 million dollars a year. This is a big deal. So when Rand Paul comes out and says Obama's a sexual predator, excuse me, Freudian slip, uh, Clinton's a sexual predator. That's the type of rhetoric we need because it's true and it gives us the offensive, instead of just laying there and taking it from these crooks that sit there and lecture us. What about how Bill Clinton keeps half the money on record from the charities for his private jet fleet and his houses for kids in Haiti? He's a scumbag. Call him out. Here's Rand Paul talking about it on C-SPAN. Senator, let me follow up on two final points. First of all, you made some headlines when you referred to former President Bill Clinton as, quote, a sexual predator. And one of your colleagues, Senator Claire McCaskill, said that your comments were, in her words, infuriating. Your reaction? Well, Senator McCaskill needs to remember what she had to say about Bill Clinton, that she wouldn't want her daughter in the same room with him. So they can't have it both ways. The Democrats can't say, oh, we're the great defenders of women's rights in the workplace, and we will defend you against uh, some kind of abusive boss that uses their position of authority to take advantage of a young woman when the leader of their party, the, leader fu the leading fundraiser in the country, is Bill Clinton, who was a perpetrator of that kind of sexual harassment. You know, so they can't have it both ways. And so I, I really think that uh, anybody who wants to take money from Bill Clinton or have a fundraiser has a lot of explaining to do. In fact, I think they should give the money back. If they want to take a position on women's rights, by all means do. But you can't do it and take it from a guy who is using his position of authority to take advantage of young women in the workplace. I mean, for goodness sakes, he paid an $800,000 fine 
fine for sexual harassment. So he admitted to it in one court case, 